Hey, this is Susie, and this time I'm going to tell you about decriticizing pharmacognosy. Pharmacognosy means to study about the natural drugs, and pharmacon means a drug, and cognosc means to know about. And do you like to know about good drugs? Really good drugs are the products from the natural origin found in a raw form. And we can classify good drugs according to their structure, family, and according to their chemical class. And first time I'm going to tell you about the structure. And we found two types of structure, organized drugs and unorganized drugs. And organized drugs always represent a part of a plant, like fruits, roots, flowers, and unorganized drugs are the exudate products of plants like latex and organized drugs consist of a definite cellular structure and unorganized drugs do not consist of a cellular structure and there are three unorganized drugs in this lesson they are agar, gelatin and opium and you can easily remember them with the word ago a for agar, g for gelatin and o for opium and the all the other good drugs are the organized drugs, okay? Organized drugs and unorganized drugs. And I told you about the structure of good drugs, and now I'm going to tell you about the chemical classes. Some of them are alkaloids, volatiloids, glycosides, tannins, and carbohydrates. And we have only two good drugs under the glycosides in the lessons, and I am digitally. And there are seven good drugs under alkaloids, Vincarosia, Belladonna, Colichicum, Coca, Epitaquana, Opium, and Cinchona. Vinbella, Colicoca, Sinopipe. And you might feel a little strange. I think it might be easy to remember in this way. Vin for Vincarosia, Bella for Belladonna, Coli for Colichicum, Coca for Coca, Sin for Cinchona, RP for Opium, Epe for Epitaquana. All right? Now, two glycosides, seven alkaloids, and there are five volatiloids, ginger, dill, cardamom, cinnamon, clove. Okay, then I'm going to tell you about the cool drugs that contain glycosides, uh, senna and digitalis. First, I'm going to tell you about the senna. Uh, senna consists of dried leaves of Cassia angustifolia and Senna's family is Leguminosae and Senna contains anthoquinone glycosides namely Senoside A, B, C and D. And Senna used to purgative in habitual constipation. And do you know what is glycoside? Glycoside is a compound formed from a simple sugar and another compound by replacement of a hydroxyl group in a sugar molecule. And the second one is digitalis. Digitalis was found by William Withering. And digitalis consists of dried leaflets of digitalis purpurea and digitalis lanata. And its family is Crophilariaceae and contains a mixture of both primary and secondary cardiac glycosides. Primary glycosides are purpurea glycosides A and B. Secondary glycosides are digitoxin and also contains saponin glycosides. And digital is used to treat congestive cardiac failure. And as soon as you heard the name of Senna and digitalis, you must remember they consist of dried leaflets. Because they consist of dried leaflets, they are organized drugs. And both of them are contain glycosides. Senna contain anthroquinin glycosides, and digitalis contain cardiac glycosides. And Senna use purgative in habitual constipation, and digital is used to treat congestive cardiac failure. And next, we'll talk about the cool drugs that contain alkaloids. First one is opium. Opium is the dried latex obtained by the incision from unripe capsules of Pathos somniferum. And when you heard the name opium, you must know this is an unorganized drug because latex, they don't have a definite cellular structure. And opium
Indians' families, papaverasti, and contains many alkaloids derived from phenylalanine and tyrosine. Narcotin benzyl isoquinoline, morphine, codeine, thebane, phenyanthrene. And alkaloids. Do you know what are the alkaloids? Alkaloids are the basic nitrogenous plant products. And then our opium is used to and belongs to category of hypnotic sedative and analgesic in which the action is mainly due to morphine. And papaverase has relaxant activity on smooth muscles, on the intestinal, bronchial and blood vessels. And then, next one is Ipecacuana. Ipecacuana consists of dyed roots of Cephalis Ipecacuana and its families Rubiaceae contain isoquinoline alkaloids, namely emitin, cephalin, and expectorant in small doses, emitin in higher doses. Okay, the next one is Cinchona. Cinchona is a dried bark of cultivated trees of Calisaya officiaris. Cinchona is the organized drug because it is the dried bark of cultivated trees and its family is Rubiaceae and contains of 25 alkaloids which belong to quinidine group, namely quinine and quinidine. And cinchona bark is antimalarial in nature and also used in bitter stomachic in antipyretic. As soon as you heard the name of cinchona, you must remember it is an antimalarial and antipyretic agent. And quinine is a protoplasmic poison, especially for protozoa. Quinidine is primarily a cardiac depressant and used to prevent certain arrhythmias and tragicardia. The next one is Vincarosia, and Vincarosia is a dried whole plant of Papyrus roseus and its families, Apocyanthi, and consists of indole alkaloids, namely Vincristine and Vinblastine, and it's used as an antineoplastic agent. The next one is Belladonna herbs. Belladonna herbs consist of dried leaves or other aerial parts of Atropa belladonna and its family Solanaceae contains alkaloids and is an uh, anticholinergic property and used to reduce the secretions such as saliva, sweat, and gastric juice. And next, I'm going to tell you about the voltaidoids. Uh, first one is clove. They contain clove bars, consist of dried flower buds of Eugenia caryophyllus. And its family is Myrtaceae, contain voltaidoids 